So if you have fraction kits, you can go ahead and use the frac fraction kits. If you don't, you can do it without the fraction kits. So I can show one half fraction, and that same one half fraction can be shown in different ways. Okay, so I can do this into groups of two, and I could show that I can do one to two as a ratio as equivalent to two out of four. Okay, and I just do each part into groups of two. I can do that same one half fraction, and I can do it in groups of three. Now, groups of three is a little bit harder to draw, okay, but we can do it in groups of three. So in groups of three, we can show that we have three parts, okay, and then six parts whole. So we can do this into groups of four as well. So again, we can do our one half, and I can do each half part into groups of four, and that then that gives me, well, I should do a little bit better picture than that, Okay, it's going to give me groups of four. Okay, and I can draw, I can shade in half by drawing, shading in four parts out of eight parts whole. Okay, so there is our one half fraction as equivalent fraction. Okay, so the one third fraction, we can start with the original one third. Okay, and we can do this in groups of two. So that one third fraction now is done all the three pieces. Okay. You can't see that third piece, there it is. We could do that in groups of two and we can make this into two parts out of six parts whole. We can do that same thing. Okay. We can do it in groups of three. You're just gonna do groups of two because it's actually easier for me to draw. I'm just gonna do it in groups of four. So I'm going to have my two thirds. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think I might have messed up this one. Okay, try that again. Okay, so I'm going to do groups of. Is my original two thirds fraction or one third fraction? Sorry, and I'm going to do groups of four. And then I'm going to have one, two, three, four. Four out of 12 is also going to give me uh, the same as a one third fraction. Okay, and then finally, here I have got a one quarter fraction. Again, if you want to draw in the one quarter, okay, I can do the these pieces into groups of two. So I end up with two parts shaded out of eight parts whole that's equivalent to one quarter okay and i could do this in two the one quarter parts i could do this in groups of three i can do it like that so groups of three i can show that the one quarter part is now in a group of three and the four parts whole now is in groups of in a group of 12. Okay, so we have three out of 12, the same as two out of eight, which is same as one out of four. So we can show this, these groupings like this. And again, it's important to understand and, and recognize that we can go from one quarter to two fifths with this times two times two. And again, that times two represents doing it in groups of two of the parts, groups of two of the whole. Here we can get the three quarters by starting with a one quarter and doing times three times three or th groups of three for the parts, groups of three for the whole. And we end up with our equivalent fraction. So it's important to start on recognizing these, these multiplying factors and how they affect ratios and proportions because we're going to look into this a lot this year.